Did you know that 2020 is the year of the nurse? I did not. No, I didn't know that. No, I did not know that. No? Did you know it was the year of the nurse? The shoe? Yeah, yeah. 2020 was named the International Year of the Nurse and Midwife to mark the 200th birthday of Florence Nightingale, one of the most renowned and globally recognised nursing figures in history. This was befitting, to say the least, in a year that has shown us just how vital our healthcare staff really are. At the Florence Nightingale Museum in London, we are marking this bicentenary by celebrating the nurses of today and shedding light on their selfless work. What has been their experience? What is Nightingale's legacy and how is this reflected in modern nursing? What changes would they like to see? We reached out to nurses around the world and asked them to share their stories. Hi, my name's Inzi. I am a general practice nurse. I've been a nurse for about two years now. I've been a nurse for just under three years and I'm coming up to my first revalidation. I started my career as a scrub nurse in ophthalmics and now I'm a research nurse working for Swansea Bay University Health Board. I'm a registered nurse from Kenya working in the UK for about two and a half years now. I've been a nurse for over 30 years and I'm a community staff nurse. Hoje atuo numa na área hospitalar de um grande hospital de Campo Grande, Mato Grosso do Sul, Brasil. É na área de urgência e emergência de um deste hospital onde atuo nas áreas vermelha, na área amarela, na área verde e na classificação de risco. I've been a nurse for five years. In that time, I have spent some time in um, spinal injuries, dermatology, and care of the elderly. But at the moment, I'm in general practice. I graduated in Italy in 2003. I've been already 17 years that I'm a nurse and I always work in critical care setting. I qualified as a nurse 10 years ago, starting in the Philippines. I started my nurse training in 1988 in Cardiff. I went on to focus on children's nursing and I gained my registered sick children's nursing qualification at Great Ormond Street. I fell in love with nursing pretty soon because Flores Nightingale she inspired me to be a scholar and a researcher and she teach me and this is a nice important thing she teach me that nursing is a horrible and very high profession because the care of human being with intellect logic art kindness and thoughtfulness quality that you have all together her character enabled people to see nursing in a different light and I think that's where that sort of caring nature but that fear fearlessness and um the um the bravery comes from because she wasn't afraid to step up in time of need. I think she was able to identify the issues in healthcare back then and she spent her life providing compassionate care to people and preventing the spread of disease by doing simple things like hand washing which go a long way in preventing the spread of infection. Her work transcended over time and has greatly influenced the way we care for our patients and uh, most of the things she pioneered in the past remain true up to this day. Florence was known to be a social reformer. She believed in education and in using evidence to change practice and to make a difference. One of the really lovely things as well is that Florence was known to actually be connected with those for whom she was caring and was known as the lady with the lamp and was seen to be the person who actually went and checked on people. She set very high standards, put a lot of procedures in place and I think she even set out the wards, the same type of wards that we use today like the Nightingale wards. So I think she was very influential um, in her time. The biggest way in which she's influenced nursing, I think, is providing nurses the autonomy of purpose to act as advocates for the patients. The way in which she developed standards of care for all patients, no matter their background, and despite staff's objections at the time. 
and I try to act as an advocate for patients in my everyday work. For me, what makes a good nurse is someone who's kind, someone who's compassionate, just loving what you do and loving the people that you're doing it for. To somebody who's curious, who is keen to actually grow their evidence base, their knowledge base, they're skilled, they practice their art, and importantly, they use evidence to keep improving things for the people. I think being a good nurse involves being able to critically appraise a situation to solve a patient's problem and individualise their care whilst keeping to the standards of care that everyone deserves. I think being a team player is extremely important to be a good nurse and not just working together with your colleagues, but also working alongside patients and relatives to be able to identify what's important to them and tailor the care to suit their needs. I remember as a community nurse attending a beautiful funeral one of my patients and her son actually gave a speech and he thanked the district nurses for all their help and all the caring that they had provided to the whole family and what I didn't know was that when he was a teenager and his brother the mum was given five years to live but with all the support from the community nursing she actually lived 25 years so she saw her children and grandchildren all grow up so that was a very proud moment for me i think that the most poignant moment was when as a critical care nurse i saw my father intubated and dying in a intensive care bed well then the nurses who took care of my father did all the best they could. Not just for him, because he was their patient, but for me as well, because I was a colleague. And so I were completely aware and conscious about what was going on to my father. And because I was three months pregnant, so I was emotionally drained. So. I felt a feeling of respect and gratitude for the professionalism and this kindness. And I will never forget those two nurses who took care of my father that night. I can still remember when Typhoon Maggie, or locally known as Juan, devastated our province. I was on duty in the labor and delivery suite and there was no electricity nor water. Now, how can you help a mother give birth in that condition? We were using candles to see and asking families if they can knock on the local pharmacy and buy at least five to 10 liters of water. Because a lot of other nurses couldn't come to work, we were asked to stay for a 16 hour shift and go home to have a shower and get clean uniforms and go back again so that the other remaining nurses can also shower and change and come back to hospital to help other patients. This only shows how passionate nurses are and how much we value not just our work, but the lives of others who rely on us in the face of danger. Nursing has always been a very challenging job that requires a lot of dedication um, and strong will and whatever changing landscape of health and illness, including the current situation with the global pandemic. Nurses now more than ever needs to be resilient, open and adaptable to change. In 2020, everything changed. With the spread of the COVID-19 virus, nurses found themselves on the front line of a global pandemic and being held up as heroes. Former nurses came out of retirement and student nurses were drafted into hospitals, joining together in the face of an international healthcare crisis. Now more than ever, nurses are at the forefront of media coverage and of our minds. In the UK, we came out into the streets every Thursday to applaud them. But what was it like for a nurse to experience this? The pandemic has 
brought the importance of nurses and nursing to the forefront of consciousness throughout the whole of society. I think people are beginning to realise the diversity of roles that nurses fulfil, whether that be from public health to primary care provision, through to hospices, care homes, in schools, um, as well as on wards and in intensive care environments. I think we've truly seen the diversity of the profession um, and that's been incredibly helpful. Just that selflessness, putting others before you is by far the best thing I think this year has has um, has shown the world of what nursing is. Do you think that your perceptions of nurses have changed over 2020 and the pandemic? Um, I, I work in the hospital, so I knew they were great, but I had not really impacted this, so they kept coming, even though it was really hard and hiring them like the music. My perception, yes, has changed personally. I think, yeah, a massive shift. I think I've realised a lot more. I'm very grateful. Yeah. I think I'm ready for it. It was a really hard I think, job. Yeah. I think yeah. I was extra hard working. Yeah. 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 It was nice that everyone did value nurses more during the pandemic, and I hope that will continue. I feel that nurses don't actually get enough representation as they should. Um, and unfortunately, in 2020, due to the global pandemic that we had, people then started to recognize the work that nurses do. And um, we were all over the media, nurses being portrayed as heroes. I had friends or people I met, and once I said I was a nurse, they offered to pay my meals, they bought me coffee, and so, so many thank yous. Yeah, so unfortunately, the global pandemic had to make people aware of what nurses do. And we were being appreciated for for doing the same thing that we've been doing for years. It's kind of sad, but it actually feels nice that people are starting to recognize the work that we do. And we obviously don't do it for the praise or for the recognition, but as a human being, it feels good that people are starting to understand the kind of work that nurses do all over the world. It felt really bizarre when I would tell people and they'd ask me, oh, what do you do? Oh, I'm a nurse. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much for what you do. You're all heroes in my eyes. It felt so unnatural, so <laughs> uncomfortable. And it just made me feel, it was just really bizarre. Yet, when I think about my friends who are nurses and my colleagues and all the hard work that they've done through this COVID-19 pandemic, I think they are amazing. And I'm so grateful for all the hard work they've done. And I do see them as heroes. Many nurses put their lives on the line. They moved out of their home, away from their loved ones, to care for people they don't even know. If that's not dedication and real love, then I don't know what is. I wore full PPE for four weeks before we decided we need to ration it because there wasn't enough available. We love our jobs. That's why we do it. But by God, it's hard. I think we need people to come and work alongside us so they can really see for themselves what we're dealing with. I didn't go into nursing for the money. There isn't any. I did it because I love what I do. But to see us taking the fall for the rest of the country and the lack of planning and financial care after all we've really done makes me really sad. We may be called heroes, but we are far from it. Nurses are therefore our most vulnerable and sick in our society. We are therefore a mother and a newborn baby. We are also there with our patients when they take their last breaths, especially if they don't have families. We are represented at a local, regional, national and even international level to influence policy making and advocating for better working conditions for all nurses. I think that the most poignant moment for me is working during this pandemic this year and working on research trials for COVID-19. One of the trials that I work on, it's my role to contact relatives by telephone and ask their permission to take a blood sample as part of a research study from their relative who's ventilated on ITU because of the complications of COVID-19. And some relatives are more than happy to consent and they express the view that their relative would be more than happy to help in any way. There are others that get very angry um, and express their thoughts that I shouldn't have phoned them at all. 
And then there are some who use the phone calls as a way of venting, I think, and a way of telling me all of the events that led up to the admission, how COVID-19 has affected them as a family, and all the concerns and worries and fears for their relative. And these conversations are very emotional, and I do think about these later on. But knowing that my conversation with them was a way in which the family is a means of catharsis for the family it just helps me to be able to carry on and be proud of the job that I'm doing. It is a weird feeling watching our jobs being so highlighted on TV and our reality hasn't changed for the better. The health sector has been so heavily depleted in the last years, pay rises frozen or rarely risen. Hospitals are falling apart thanks to cuts in the budget. We have less tools to help our patients than before and it's not the first time that materials aren't available for certain procedures or even to provide some comfort to patients. It doesn't change that we are still as short-staffed as before and now with the second pandemic, I feel more tired and it seems after each day near a burnout. My wish is that finally we can have our voices heard in the end of this pandemic. Our nurses also need help and support. Despite all that, we continue to to fulfill our obligations and responsibilities because if not us, then who? It's been 200 years since Florence Nightingale made her mark and established the foundations of modern nursing. Her legacy lives on in our modern hospital layouts, ward hygiene procedures, her handwashing message and the Nightingale hospitals, specialist COVID intensive care wards set up across the UK in her name. The practice of nursing has come so far. But how will it change in the future? What will nursing be like 200 years from now? I hope that 200 years from now we are still nursing and haven't been replaced by technology. I hope it's still a hands-on profession. I hope that we're still holding hands and giving hugs and caring for one another. And I hope we're making Florence proud. What I hope to see more is foreign nurses to play a more active role in managing and utilising technology and data in improving the way we do things. There's so much opportunity for nurses being the frontliners of care and the one who use a lot of systems, applications and tools to think about uh, what we can do and how can we make things better, um, more efficient, more accurate for a patient. So this is one way of uh, championing digitalization, which I believe is the way forward for nursing. When I began my nurse training, I was aware of the view that any formal qualifications and education, university education of nurses was seen in a negative light and that any career advancement should be based on your years in service alone. But in my current role as a research nurse, formal qualifications and advancing your own knowledge and education is seen as something to be proud of. And this, I think, is something that Florence herself would have been proud of as she changed nursing into a respectful profession in her first nursing school. And in the future, I'd like to see more nurses in the principal investigator role in studies. And also, I'd like to see more opportunities and more support for nurses who want to do their PhD to be able to advance nursing for all of us. The multitude of skills now required of nurses can be mind-blowing. I would still like the voice of nursing to become stronger and louder, working alongside the unions to provide the profession with the recognition it truly deserves. I would like to see, for example, in the teamwork between nurses and students, I would like to see more positive engagement. Also outside the work, because we don't need necessarily to build friendship relations, but what we need is to build harmony and trust in the team. Because in the hard and stressed moment, we are more tight and we can 
better help each other for the better of the patient. I don't think there's many changes that I'd like to see within nursing. I think every profession has its good and its bad. Um, for me, being a black nurse, I would love to see more nurses that look like me. And I think it's inspiring when you see people that look like you doing good. It makes you feel like you can do it too. So I think what I'd like to see change is for more BAME nurses to be positioned in those places where they can also inspire others and inspire the future nurses to so that more people from our sort of background can actually get into nursing and see how wonderful it is. O que eu gostaria que mudasse, que permanecesse e que fosse assim que nós necessitamos na enfermagem é uma carga horária reduzida. Aqui no Brasil, a gente tem uma carga horária muito pesada, que são os 44 horas semanais. E essas 44 horas semanais é um fardo para a enfermagem, a enfermagem é, trabalha cansada e temos o, não temos piso salarial. E com isso, as pessoas têm que trabalhar em vários empregos para poder ter um uma dignidade de familiar, do seu convívio, da sua vida, de ter uma vida melhor. Então, eu acho e penso que isso deve ser mudado e que nós da enfermagem continuamos sendo humano, tratando de ser humano. So my view of nursing has definitely, definitely changed and it keeps changing every time. Uh, when I first went to nursing school back in Kenya, I thought I was just getting into nursing to learn and obviously be able to take care of people. But I had no idea how broad nursing is. I had no idea how many branches or how many specialties that nurses, you know, you can be as a nurse. And that even became more clear when I moved to the UK and I understood that I can do so much as a nurse. And I can work in different specialties and learn new things and be able to enjoy my job and at the same time helping people. So yeah, it has definitely changed and I think it will keep changing because nursing is dynamic. Uh, new things keep coming up, which is what makes it more interesting. Uh, Florence Nightingale being the mother of nursing, mother of modern nursing, she was not only a nurse but a statistician and also somebody who was doing a lot for social justice. And I think that's one thing that I've learned during my journey through nursing is that actually when you take on the hat of being a nurse you're not only a nurse by profession but you're also we have a lot of entrepreneurs researchers and um, teachers and also people who work in the community doing other roles while being nurses and I think that's that's been a really great revelation for me and um, as an as a nurse Equally, I think moving forward, one of the things that I would like to change um, or I'd like to see change is public perceptions of nurses and uh, public perceptions of what it is to be a nurse, what it takes to be a nurse and equally um, w how much respect nurses should get as, individual, as individuals but equally as the collective profession. So I think moving forward in 20 the rest of 2020 and beyond. I really would like to see those changes in the, um, I would say the appreciation of nurses um, just to the level that actually it deserves. I think the fact that Florence Nightingale dedicated her whole life to creating social reform in healthcare and caring for the sick, um, has led to millions of people choosing nursing as a professional role in their lives. And I'm hoping that in another 200 years that people will still have the aspiration to become a nurse and devote their lives to caring for others. Florence Nightingale paved the way for modern nursing. Her passion and dedication to the practice, encouraging future generations to follow in her footsteps long after she was gone. 2020 really has been the year of the nurse and midwife and through our conversations with nurses for this film we have been reminded just how important their work is in times of crisis but also in the everyday. Nurses and the healthcare sector play a vital role in our lives today and will for years to come. The Florence Nightingale Museum 
would like to say a huge thank you to nurses worldwide, whose strength, compassion and commitment to caregiving are a testament to Florence Nightingale's work and legacy. Thank you 